Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to see you today. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hi, welcome to Story Corner. Today I'm going to introduce you to a sub-segment of Story Corner, the poetry place. Poetry. What do you think of when you hear the word poetry? A familiar rhyme like roses are red, violets are blue. I like pistachio nuts. Do you? Or how about a song that started as a poem? Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. We know many famous poets. Langston Hughes, Emily Dickinson, Robert Frost. But I think the most well-known poet is Anonymous. Anonymous has left us many poems and stories throughout the year. Poets take inspiration from the world around them to help with feelings of happiness and sadness, or just to express about things they really love and enjoy. Today, our poems are all about insects. Yeah, those six-legged winged creatures that are all around us and make really funny poems that teach us things. Let's read our poems. Oh my. <laughs> Encyclopedia by Douglas Florian. A word to you, all of these poems are about true insects except one. One is an imposter that hides among the insect world. See if you can guess which one it is. The caterpillar. She eats leaves at least to fill her, which leaves her like a fatter pillar, then rents a room inside a pupa and checks out Madame Butterfly. How super. The daddy long legs. Oh, daddy, oh, daddy, oh, how'd you get those legs to grow? So very long and lean in size from spider robic exercise? Did you drink milk or chew on cheese? And by the way, where are your knees? Oh, daddy, daddy, oh, how'd you get those legs to grow? The army ants. Left, right, left, right. We're army ants, we swarm, we fight. We have no home, we roam, we race. You're lucky if we miss your place. The inchworm. I inch, I arch, I march along. I'm just a pinch, a mere inch long. I stroll and stick on sticks in the thickets and never pick up speeding tickets. The Black Widow Spider. I am a widow, I always wear black, from my eight dainty legs to my shiny round back. Do not disturb me, my fangs carry venom. I am a widow, I don't wear blue denim. The Io Moth. The Io Moth has mammoth eyes that are not real, they're a disguise. To ward off birds and other creatures, like garter snakes and science teachers. The whirly gig beetle. We whirl, we twirl, we skate, we glide. A pond, a pond, or lake, we ride. We swim in circles like little toys without the wind-up keys or noise. The weevils. We are weevils, we are evil, we aggrieved some time prime evil. With our down curved beaks we bore into crops and trees we gore. We are ruinous, we are rotten, we drill holes in bowls of cotton. We're not modern, we're medieval. We are weevils, we are evil. The walking stick. The walking stick is thin, not thick, and has a disappearing trick. By looking like a twig or stalk, 
It lives another day to walk. He's hiding right there. Can you see him? See him right there. <gasps> the hornet. A hornet's born with yellow rings, ending in a point that stings. She builds a pulpy paper nest in which few choose to be a guest. A hornet is an insect killer. She feeds her babies caterpillars, spiders, flies, and if she's able, pudding from your picnic table. The tree hoppers. They're hip, they hop on top of trees. They skip on tips of twigs with ease. They lunge, they plunge, they lurch, they lope. Imagine what they would do with rope. The mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are thin, mosquitoes are rude. They feast on your skin for takeout food. The monarch butterfly. He is a monarch. He is a king. He flies great migrations past nations he wings. He is a monarch. He is a prince. When blackbirds attack him, from poison they wince. He is a monarch. He is a duke. Swallows that swallow him frequently puke. <laughs> The giant water bug. The giant water bug can lug his eggs upon his back. He gives them extra care up there and guards them from attack. The mother glues them to the dad and on his back they stay. But does he ever get a card or gift for Father's Day? The crickets. The crickets, you don't need tickets to listen to crickets. They chirp and cheep for free. They fiddle and sing by rubbing each wing and never charge you a fee. The locusts, oh no. Hocus pocus, we are locusts. On your farm, we swarm, we focus. We choose to chew your grain, your grass. They disappear each time we pass. The ticks, not gigantic, not romantic, not artistic, not majestic, not magnetic, nor aesthetic. Ticks are strictly parasitic. The mayfly, a mayfly flies in May or June. Its life is over far too soon. A day or two to dance to fly. Hello, hello. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye to Encyclopedia. Okay, which one was the imposter? What makes an insect an insect? I think we know that. We know they need wings, antenna, six legs, head, abdomen, and thorax. So who was hiding in with the insects? That's right the arachnid, the black widow spider. I hope you've enjoyed these fun rhyming poems about insects and see you next time on Story Corner or Poetry Place, whichever the place may be.